Hi, welcome to Richman Poor Motors. In today's video, we're going to use the diagnostic scanner and we're going to scan and find that we need to change the DPF temperature sensor or the pre DPF temperature sensor on the exhaust on a Vauxhall Astra. So here we are in the Vauxhall Astra. Just plug in the Foxwell diagnostic scanner into the OBD2 port. So I'm just speeding through this quicker than it takes in real time, but we're going to the diagnostics and we are selecting a module scan and we are checking the really reading the codes the catalyst temperature sensor circuit bank one sensor two is a problem so under the middle of the car there you've got the dpf and uh, i've actually removed the sensor already uh, actually the sensor was on an old exhaust that was um had been ripped off and I had to change the DPF filter so I was just showing you the fault beforehand and I've already ordered a new sensor which is here some copper grease or copper ease uh, to go on later so I'm just placing the sensor into the exhaust just to protect that end of the sensor we don't want to damage it by it rolling around on the uh, tarmac of the driveway So just following the uh, old sensor wire to the front of the car. Again, this is only in finger tight because uh, we're going to remove it later when we install it properly. So following the cable, it goes over that mount and up into the engine bay this way. So just pulling the clips off, so you squeeze the tabs together. And once you squeeze the tabs, you can just pull them out through the holes. So just doing the last one on the that runs along the chassis. And now we've got to do the ones as it just runs up over the engine. So it goes over that plate there and there's a um, another clip in there which I'm just removing. Again pushing the tabs in and then you can just push it up and release the cable. So there's another sensor just, just there and out of the shot of the camera there's a, a f another sensor a bit further up. So pulling the old cable through and trying to follow the sensor up. Now if you look where that red um, cable is, just to the side of that red cable, that is where the plug is, where the sensor plugs into. So I'm touching it at the moment and there's another clip that um, I've just got to remove. So it's pushed onto that plate. So it's hard to film while underneath the car. So I've removed that clip. So I'm holding on the clip there. And you can see the loose cable going to the plug at the moment. So just the other side or the flexible pipe and the exhaust. So sorry for the shaky video, but um, it was quite hard videoing this on my back. So the front of the car was where I was pointing and up there again next to that red uh, cable that's the sensor that you're looking for there. So again it was too hard to actually separate it while uh, I was lying on the back with one hand so I had to stop filming so I could use the two hands and that's the plug that's connected to the car. So I slid it off the bracket that it was held it in and there's the plug where it being separated so so threading the new cable through and uh, removing the old cable so i'm following the the route that the um, previous cable w went that's to not make a mistake so pushing the new cable up i'm grabbing it with my left hand and just pulling it through Again, it was a bit too tight to be able to show you video in it. So I've now plugged the two cables back together and I've slided the uh, cable back through the bracket. Now the cable I bought actually had a different clip on, which you can see to the right, but uh, the plug was the same. So it's been plugged in and now it's time to refit the clips that uh, clip the cable all the way along. Um, and decided that would go in better the other way around so that's one's in 
there's one on that plate and if you look along here we're just going to put them in those holes along the chassis so now I'll just remove the sensor out of the DPF so I can put some copper ease on it or copper grease so this is what will uh, stop the thread sticking uh, if you ever have to remove the sensor from a later date or you've got to uh, change the exhaust and you need to remove the sensor um, you put that on and it just stops it corroding together now make sure you do not get any of this over the sensor itself because uh, that will affect the readings so just on the threads this is one of the reasons why I didn't put the copper ease when in on when I installed it the first time so so now we're installing it for for um, for the final time put a bit of copper ease in and we're screwing it up so on the manufacturer exhaust that was on the car the actual bung that holds the sensor comes straight out rather than at an angle like that one does so I don't know whether this is the uh, same or whether it had a previous exhaust on and uh, this could be, maybe be the third exhaust that's fitted to this car so getting the bracket out of the way putting the final clip in and just time to tighten it up so please remember to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful and just tightening up the sensor So thanks for watching. If this video has been helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, every subscription does help. These how-to videos are notoriously hard to get subscribers for, and every subscriber does help me make more videos like these. Um, please check out some of my other videos where you might find some other, uh, other links to, to uh, videos that you find helpful. Up there I've got the video changing the actual exhaust and we've also got a, um, a video on the EGR which caused the DPF filter to get blocked in the first place. So please check out those other videos and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.